Hello everyone. Today I'm here with Victor and we're sort of making tradition because I don't even know how many times we did the 650 together but we're gonna do it again today and we're gonna build, well, we're gonna try to build this one. Okay, so this time we're going uh, back to the nature style. This was one of the tanks from uh, Mr. Amano. It's a typical nature aquarium. As you can see, the hardscape is probably not the dominant here, but the plants are really playing the high role. There are some very characteristic plants like the Microsorum or the Bulbitis. As Victor said, hardscape is not too dominant in this tank and it doesn't really matter what kind of hardscape you put in, as long as you have the two main structures the only really important thing is the, well, let's call it the bridge across. Obviously the tank size is very, very different. Besides going NA style and traditional once again, we're gonna add a little twist to it with going um, more aggressive colors in the stem plants. And we don't have bulbitis. Yeah, that will be a critical point. Because... Even though Tropica was really kind to sponsor us with this video, so they sent us over 200 pots of plants, but Bulbitis is missing for some time now. Also, one of the most important aspects of this setup or this scape is the angelfish, which we haven't yet decided about if we want to go that route. Okay, so now let's see the structure that we prepared for the build. Actually, the reason why we already have the hardscape in it is that we were running quite low on ironwood and last week I just and picked out just a few pieces just to have them okay. and, and put them in and it sort of works. Just like with the past videos, because we, we receive a lot of questions, you can find all the specs down in the description. After we decided that we want to make this specific setup, uh, we got it even in the company that it's going to be very similar to the previous setup, which is true but we want to keep the 650 and a style it's gonna be similar but still different and it's fine for us so we have a few pieces there we probably need to just glue this together we just want to make sure that the hardscape doesn't float and we have we leave the tank in a way that the maintenance crew can uh, easily work on it without being afraid of moving stuff but we are not gonna use glue on, on the, the plant, planting on the planting, yeah we are using super glue here with paper towel. Basically put this paper towel to the connection point. The original concept had a lot of low demanding plants. We are getting the questions about uh, why we need such a light. It's a versatile light. So these are the ADA solar units. What happens if you have a more intense light with low demanding plants? Will grow more leaves. The vivid colors will be there. Actually, I'm done with the gluing on that side. So maybe you could start putting in the lava stones, which, which help us to keep the soil in the back part. We poured in some power sand for the base uh, substrate. Then we're covering this with Amazonia and we're using the root taps as well. But if you want to save some money, you can use some filler materials. Now you can uh, buy some plastic pieces, which you can use under your soil. But uh, using more soil is not just for the plant roots. These soils stabilize the water later on, lowering the pH, which is good for aquarium plants. A frequent topic about all these active soils how long you can use it. If you're doing the water changes and the cleaning of the aquarium regularly, you can use it for a very long time. The only thing you need to do is to enrich the, uh, the soil with, with some root sticks. Yeah, but we usually recommend that if you reuse your soil, then have at least one or two centimeters fresh, fresh soil on yeah. the very top, uh, so it doesn't get uh, clogged up by the uh, water flow. We will only use sand, right? Yes. I would imagine having another line of uh, small rocks uh, about here. You can place it because now or what? then we can have some excess soil okay. because we have small crypts. Okay. The lava stones 
will not be on the focus. We probably will only see some of them on the front. So look, looks like a good catch from DA. <laughs> the reason why we are forcing La Plata here is the light color tone to have that cool looking good contrast than uh, probably the slight yellowish sand color is much better. It works well as a contrast for the, with the Fuji stones or, or some, some cooler hardscape like the Serio or some, some gray stones. We want to go as thin as possible always with the sand. Uh, it just looks much better. Working with the, with the wet sand this is much harder, so we don't like that much. It's easier to, to fill in this way and uh, just be a bit more careful with the, with the fill up. Okay, hard skip done. What's next? Lunch, then planting. We will tie down the smaller Anubias. The plant will live on the rock. After a few weeks, the roots will completely cover the decoration. You can use uh, most ties like the richer line from ADA. You can use a fishing line. Alternatively, you can use something like this, like the rubber band. That's what we frequently see also in a, in a nursery. But of course, we have here the wood tight. We can use that one as well. You want to help me? Mm, not, not really. Not really. No. Okay, that's good. This is the bulbitis for the setup. Enough? Perfect. While you are having fun, mm -hmm. I'm going to start planting the crypts and the front corners. Done with the Anubiases? The crypts are done. That's it. Thank you. So this is uh, Rotala rotundifolia. I actually want to get done all the planted plants before we start attaching everything to the wood because well, it just makes sense. It's easier this way. How do you want the coloration? We have Rotala green, rotundifolia and HR. Yes. Okay. In the center Green, part. orange, red. Yep. Maybe. We're gonna have the rotundifolia in potted version, so they are well, already quite high. Yeah, that's good. And then the green and the H are on both sides is going to be in vitro. Oh, okay. So it's going to look funny. But you can order a magnifier glass in uh, the green aqua store to find the plants which we are planting. So in case if you prepare all the plants before uh, the planting, uh, you need to make sure that the plant is not drying out. One of the easiest way to use some paper towel or newspaper, or whatever, and just spray it with water and, and cover the plants with it. So the no glue for the plants policy is getting to seem silly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? All these ones, they're just like okay. flopping around. We can use the wood tight there as well. No glue. What must have you done? Nice. Wow. The petit. That's nice. Yeah, the thing is, is always we're getting uh, questions a lot of time that how many plants is needed. 200 pots for a 650 liter aquarium, even if it's, uh, it's not so densely a planted one, will not make a miracle. You need to wait two, three, four months to, to have that look what you were after. Where should this go? The only piece of bovitis. 
Okay, so this is all the uh, Rotala green that we have. So that goes into the inner portion of the stem part. This is the crypto green crease patella for the edges. So basically alongside the very end of the tank. So I heard some rumors in the meantime that uh, the Avatar video was so popular that you will be in the next movie. <laughs> the long awaited uh, workshop with uh, our friend Luca from uh, Brazil uh, will be in April. I'm super excited about the workshop to, to learn on, uh, on the Brazilian aquascaping from the master himself. We're going with the Rotala HRA Rotundifolia Vietnam, whatever really weird long name and that's going to be the outer part of the stem range so it's rotella green rotundifolia and hra going green orange red we will not have uh, bobitis now and because of that this cape looks much lighter we just talked with uh, with tommy about maybe we keep uh, the tank this way so clean lighter and uh, we'll have more swimming space. Okay, so we are done with the lunch break and everything. It took four hours. Yeah, so it was easy. quite quick for the size of the tank, but we had a lot of help cleaning the plants. Team. That's it. It turned out better than I imagined, to be honest. And now I'm not sure if this time is going to yeah, destroy it, it or yeah. not. <laughs> I'm leaning towards having the angelfish. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice. Some, 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 some nice. Well, but yeah, you're going to see it in a couple of seconds how we decided. And uh, thank you for joining us today. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>